This is video three of my interactive field weakening series. So we can all figure out how the hell to set this field weakening reliably. Because so far I'm getting nothing but inconsistencies. All right, good. Tons of good comments off that last video. Today, I'm for sure gonna get field weakening to work. So, recap the first video. I tried to get field weakening to work. I just didn't give it enough line amps. And let's go to 120 amps. I didn't get enough torque to the motor to even reach my rated speed. I don't see anything happening. 58, that didn't make a damn, that actually made it slower. I don't know how the hell that made it slower. So that's why we couldn't get it to work. We have to be at rated speed. So the next video, part two, I got the rated speed, but I just got right at the rated speed, 190 amps. Everything below that rated speed is where torque builds RPM. So increasing phase amps gives you more. Everything above that rated speed, we're gonna have to use field weakening to increase the RPMs. We know the weak light comes on around 70 miles an hour, 7,000 plus RPM. Max line currents. I went from 120 to 190, and that put me at, let's do 190. 8,400, I got the weak light, 8,400. Depending on what the battery volts is, anywhere from 7,400 to about 8,500. So there's a little bit of wiggle room in here. But I got to my rated speed. We still didn't enter field weakening. 77 miles an hour. It is not increasing at all. So that didn't work at all. And everyone gave me comments and told me why. And the funny thing is I didn't listen to my own comment in the first video. Entropy. The second law of thermodynamics tells us we're going to waste some energy. When we make that conversion to reduce torque and increase RPM, we're going to waste some of that energy. Nothing is free. There is no free energy. I'm expecting to enter field weakening and increase speed. That's an increase in energy. I'm thinking I'm going to lower my torque to do that, so I'm thinking I'm removing energy. But here's the weird thing. As field weakening shifts that torque, it actually takes power to field weaken. You don't lose power and then get free field weakening. It takes power. And the only source of power we have is that battery in the form of line amp. It converts it to phase amps. So the only source of power we have to that motor is phase amps. That's torque. So it actually takes torque to reduce torque, if that makes sense, I think. I need to comment on that one too. That guy's gonna be in my way. So busy down here in the winter time. All the snowbirds come back and drive slow. So since it takes power to enter field weakening, I've got to figure out how many amps I'm pulling when I enter field weakening. And we'll call that 100%. Then I need 20% more to work field weakening. So whatever amps I pull, I'm gonna multiply it times 1.2 and that's going to be the amps I set to test field weakening. Yeah, so that might be the problem with some of your field weakening woes. You guys don't have the power to operate field weakening above your rated speed. There's the weak light. I don't know what it is. Okay, I got to try that again because apparently I can't be at partial throttle. I need to be at full throttle for this so I can see what the amps are doing. 200 and something, 32, 6. I'm going to have to review this on the computer. I have no idea. And in addition to looking on the computer, I'm going to recharge the bike. I got another comment, which was really good, about consistency of my testing. Every time I run this bike, I mean, the battery seems big, but it's actually not a very big battery for the kind of power I'm running with the bike. So every time I do a run, I weaken that battery. Now, I started off with, I think, 103. So I'm going to charge the battery also between these tests. Try to keep that standard going. No rhyme or reason to this. I guess it's depending on how fast I accelerate and how much throttle I have in, I get something different every time. Here I've got 7600 RPM, 242 amps, and 212 on the phase amps. Then I get 8000 RPM, 210 line, 8, 189 phase. Let's see, 7800 RPM, 180 line, 166 phase. This is all where the weak light was coming on. I took screenshots of it. Then I get 310 line, 314 phase, and that's down to 6700 RPM. If I really stab the throttle and get a lot of voltage it comes on earlier. If I'm gentle with the throttle, it'll come on later. So yeah, here's another hard stab. 6700 RPM, 322 
amps 314 line. So let's go back and look at that first one where I barely had any throttle in. I'm not finding any rhyme or reason to this. Okay, here's one at 96 volts where I have just a little bit of throttle put in. The field weakening comes on pretty early. That's probably the earliest, 210, 189, but late in RPM, 8,000. So this test is inconclusive. I mean, I, I can kind of see a relationship between how much throttle and the voltage on when it comes on, but not good enough to really use as valuable information. So I'm gonna try something else. One guy said, leave the field weakening completely off. Go out and just run top speed and see where the bike stabilizes. Don't really care about the weak light, just where the bike stabilizes. When it stabilizes, look at your current. And that'll be your line amps required to reach equilibrium. So we're gonna try that method now. So I've already got the weak light, but that's fine. I'm just gonna let it stabilize. Full throttle. Weak response completely off. I'm going 88, 86, 87. And it looks like 270 on the current. Every time I do one of these tests, I get more confused. And I got more questions. Anyone else have that problem? Yeah, I'm super confused because I've got weak response on none. And the damn thing's going way past the weak light. So let me see where the weak light comes on also. So maybe I can get some more comments on what to do. Because I'm not getting the results I expected to get. I'll just do a regular gradual takeoff. And just let speed increase. There's 7,300 RPM, 7,700 weak light on, 160, 70 amps. I'm just going to keep on accelerating. So the weak light's been on since 7,700. I'm at 9,800 RPM, 9,900. I'm at 10,000 RPM. 270 amps. That makes no sense. I feel like weak response is still on, even though it's on none. Let's verify what I've got here. I've got weak response, seven, none. Ratios and speed, 100% everywhere. Uh, why am I getting field weakening? No frickin' idea. This test has gone sour. Let's go back and get the battery charged again. And let's do the same test with field weakening on. I guess it'll go above 87 miles an hour with the field weakening on. I just had an epiphany. There's actually two tests I need to do. One guy in a comment told me it doesn't matter how many amps I have in there, 600 amps, 300 amps, whatever. Once back EMF and EMF are equalized, that's all the amps it's gonna pull. I'm gonna test it, because we were discussing it on the comments, and he's another one of these electrical genius guys, and it makes sense what he's saying. I'm back at 100 and, yeah, 103 volts, exactly. By the time I get there, probably 102, close enough. So in the last run, I was stabilized at 87 miles an hour, 10,000 RPM, just shy of it, and 270 line amps. So I've set 270 line amps as my maximum amps now. And I'm gonna see if I can get those same numbers. So right now, field weakening's off. Yeah, 9,500 is pretty darn close. 9,600, 82, 83, 84. Yeah, so 270 amps, that's doing it. 85, 10,000 RPM, I'm calling that close enough. Now I'm gonna turn field weakening on, and I should be able to go faster. It's getting exciting. So he was right. The 600 amps, 270 amps did not matter. Once that thing stabilized on 85, 6-ish, I think I'm a, yeah, I'm about one or two volts lower than my initial test, so that's probably why it was 84 and 85 miles an hour, not 87. No big deal there. So now we're looking to beat 84 and 85 miles an hour, 10,000 RPM, by using field weakening. Let's go in here and turn it on. Okay, weak response. I'm going to put it all in. Zero. All these are 100% still. 270 amps. This is why I was trying to simulate this test at lower amps. Frickin' Florida is just too damn busy to go fast in the winter time. Too many damn people down here. And they ain't driving fast. For all you Minnesota and Wisconsin guys, when I get old, well, when I get older, I'm gonna come up there and drive slow. I'm gonna get in your left-hand lane and drive slow just to piss y'all off. 85. 87, 87, 
88, 87 were stabilized. Didn't do a damn thing. I mean, it went from 85 to 87. I'm not gonna count that. That could be a difference in um, gradient or wind speed. So, field weakening again did absolutely nothing for me. That's because it takes 270 amps for me to stabilize. Now I'm gonna go above 270 amps. Remember, 20% above it. We're gonna see if just 20% is all it takes. So I need my calculator. 270 times 1.2 equals 324. So since I'm down to 99 volts, let's go 340 amps. We're gonna make up for that. So we'll put 340 max. We're all in on field weakening, and we did show that the 270 to get to field weakening, it did not increase in speed because it takes power to use field weakening. Also with field weakening off and even 600 amps, it did not go any faster than the 270 amp test. So the added amps alone are not making it go faster. See if I can beat my 87 miles an hour on field weakening. 89, 91, 90. It's working guys, 94. Okay, we'll call that success. Woo! That slides that back tire like nothing else. I'm gonna have to really turn that down. That threw me over the handlebars. So I was getting like 92, 93. Now I wanna go back to my 600 amps and just see if more amps helps more field weakening. Now I just made that 20% factor completely up off the top of my head. I don't know how many more amps it takes, but it does take more amps and stabilization. So put my 600 amps back in, but now we're gonna see how much more field weakening we get. And my voltage has dropped down again, but no big deal, we got a lot of more amps in. That's really about the same, y'all. I really got to adjust that off throttle braking. <laughs> That's crazy. I've got it set to 20, so it shouldn't be that much, but it spikes. When I initially come off that throttle, whew, that thing jumps, that thing goes down to like negative 40. And it slides that back wheel. I'm going to get rid of that and everything above about 7,000, I think. So yeah, good test. It turns out the 600 amps didn't matter. It's like 20%, maybe even less is required. Maybe only 10% above your equalization. So the weak light doesn't matter. None of it matters. It's really what the bike does when it stabilizes. And that's all dependent on your voltage you got in your battery at the time. So it's gonna be variable. And after your bike stabilizes, you need more power than that. We've shown that 20% gets us pretty good. A lot of percent, like 600 amps. That's, that's like 100% more and it didn't make a difference. Interesting, so field weakening is worth about 10 miles an hour. Not too bad, I'll take it. So this is a successful test, I'm pretty happy with it. And that ratios thing, I wanna try a lot of different ratios, so I might save that for a fourth video. I'll really fine tune this field weakening, but this is going good. It is working, we have figured out how to work it. I wanna just kinda do a whole video on just adjusting the percent in ratios and speed. Finally, a successful video, and I'll see you next time. So leave me some comments on that ratio and speed and how I should try adjusting them. I mean, I just know the standard deal about, you know, tapering them down. Not much more than that that I know.